Hey guys, how are you? So real quick, um, I'm gonna tell a story really quickly. I gotta go to work. I was trying the Elmer O. Locker method for winning the lottery. And I listened to that thing every night, probably not for a full 30 days, but I did listen to it for maybe a full 15 to 20 days for sure, right? And I bought a lot of tickets and most of the days I forgot to buy tickets because let's just see, I'm not a gambler. So I've had addiction issues in my life, but never with gambling, right? And I don't know, I'm not alone, I'm sure. Like a lot of people have addiction issues, it happens. I bounced out, should, should be good for the rest of my life, hopefully. But I know where to turn if not. So I'm trying this method, I'm buying the tickets. I go in one day and I buy a $5 scratch ticket. And I said to the lady at the counter, I said, do you feel lucky today? She goes, sure do. So I said, all right, baby, get me that winning lotto ticket. So she grabs me a $5 ticket. I said, thank you. So I go out and I pump my gas and I scratch the ticket while I'm pumping the gas. And I had $5 left and I didn't win. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna buy that next ticket because it's probably the winner. So I go back in after I pump my gas and I said, hi, let me get that other ticket, okay? I want that last ticket, the same one. She's like, she's like, ooh. So she goes and she grabs it, right? And um, she brings it up. I said, yeah, you know, I scratched it and I didn't win. I was gonna pump my gas and go. I said, but I felt like I got to come back and get that last ticket. And she goes, yeah, it's a gambling problem. And I was like, whoa, oh no, I'm a check, baby. I'm in check. I got this in check. I'm good. I do not have a gambling problem, but I do want to win and quit my job. And she says, oh, and she laughed, you know, but all of a sudden I was kind of offended. I'm like, I do not have a gambling problem. Hello, I'm probably the least likely to gamble at all times. I am the last person that gambles anything. So then I said to myself, well, why the hell am I gambling then? Why am I doing this? So I listened to this program for 15 to 20 days to give myself a gambling problem. Done. <laughs> and so I'm going back to my old thoughts pattern, which I believe to be true. And that is that if you are meant to win the lottery, you're going to win it. You don't have to buy a ticket. That ticket will blow across the parking lot. It'll wave in the wind and it'll land at your feet. And that is the truth. If you are meant to win the lottery, you will win. You do not have to buy the ticket. You do not have to play, nothing like that. It'll happen. So I don't believe anybody that if you listen to this all night long, you're gonna win the lottery. So I'm here to tell you, it didn't happen. So debunked, myth debunked, uh, manifestation technique debunked and that's it guys. I have another video that I'm brewing. I'm kind of excited about it, but it's gonna be the story of how TikTok did me dirty. And um, I look forward <laughs> to you guys getting to hear that story because it's a story I haven't told. And I was thinking about it. What's an interesting vlog, right? Well, a lot of you did follow me from Instagram to TikTok now to here. So I just wanted to, I wanna put that story out there. So um, comments. If you like this video and comment if you want to hear more about the TikTok story, guys. Thanks for watching.